Ex-Trump aide given jail sentence for contempt of Congress Former Trump strategist Steve Bannon has railed against the Biden regime after being sentenced to four months in jail for contempt of Congress. Bannon was a key player in Mr. Trump's successful 2016 election campaign and later took the role of chief strategist at the White House. He left that position following a violent far-right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, in August 2017. Even after his departure, the combative podcaster was considered a top ally ally of Mr. Trump. Bannon's attorneys have characterized the case as politically motivated and said that he was attempting to negotiate rather than ignore the subpoenas. They added that he believed the deadlines and the summons were flexible. Judge Nichols partly agreed, saying that it appeared that Bannon was following legal advice and that he did not completely ignore the subpoena or fail to engage with the committee at all. Defense attorney David Schoen, who represented Mr. Trump in his second impeachment trial at the U.S. Senate, said that Bannon was acting on principle. He also accused prosecutors prosecutors of being in zeal to make Bannon their trophy. Quite frankly, Mr. Bannon should make no apology, Mr. Schoen said. There is nothing here to deter. There is nothing here to punish. In their own sentencing memorandum, the defense said their client should be sentenced to probation only and stated that contempt of Congress charges are rare. Two other senior Trump administration officials, Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and his deputy, Dan Scavino Jr., were not charged after ignoring committee subpoenas. In a separate case, Bannon is also facing separate fraud conspiracy and money laundering charges in New York after being accused of cheating donors to a fundraiser aimed at helping Mr. Trump build a wall at the U.S.-Mexico border. He previously faced federal charges over the same allegations before being pardoned by Mr. Trump. This podcast is created by Kronos Worldwide Productions.